Hello everyone. Today we are going to create another uh, tutorial and uh, another uh, thing in Adobe XD, which is this slider. Okay, so let me show you what I actually mean is. Okay, so if you see over here this window, uh, you can see we can. Uh, this is a nice slider animation, and uh, it is a prototype basically, a simple prototype. So this is a slider. So if I try to click on it, it slides over here and slides back. Uh, today I am going to create uh, this. Uh, and how it is possible in Adobe XD. It is very simple uh, and uh, uh, we are going to create and also uh, I am going to show you, share with you two files actually. Uh, one in, is another one which I created. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay, so there is another switch I created. So it's uh, basically closer to iOS switch. So actually I created this from raw. It is not copied from uh, actually, it is not copied from iOS um, uh, design uh, UI kits. So let me zoom in. I am going to show you. So you can see. So this is uh, another file. Okay. So I am going to go with the basics. I am going to show you how to create this and I'm going to share these both files. So you can see how I created all this. Okay. So let's get started. And um, here we have, this is very simple, Wi-Fi settings. So I, I want to keep it simple because I don't want you to be, uh, you know, creating and wasting a lot of time. The main purpose of this exercise is that you can create this uh, animation of this sliding uh, setting slider. Okay, so uh, let's get started and create this. And uh, for that, I'm going to create a new file. It is going to be iPhone 678. Let's make it command zero, zoom in. And uh, over here, we are going to uh, put some dummy text like, um, let's call this because I am uh, these days working on a uh, intelligent or uh, artificial intelligence so far right now, or smart so far, you can say. Okay, so the spellings are incorrect. Okay, so uh, let's create the background for uh, the slider. So for that, I'm going to use a rectangle over here of 32 height you can use 32 34 whatever size you want and the width is going to be 80 okay so uh, let's uh, use some border radius of 20 over here so you can see now we are uh, creating this slider background and for the fill we are going to uh, use a color very subtle color which is f a f a f a very light gray color and for the border we are going to use E3, E3, D, 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 okay. So this is a bit of reddish uh, gray color, okay. So now you can see our background is over here. Uh, if you want to create a bit of more darker border, you can move a bit down over here like that. Okay, so let's make the width of this one to, okay, so just keep it 85. So this seems great. Okay, now we are going to create another circle ellipse inside it. And for that, I'm pressing my shift key. Just move it over here. See if the size is correct. Yes, it is looking great. Okay, so 30 by 30 is actually I'm using over here. I'm going to remove the border right now and just use the fill and the fill will be uh, D6 DD E2 D6 DD E2 okay so this is a very uh, light grayish blue color and for the border we are going to use another color which is going to be C6 D3 DC okay so this is a bit of darker shade of the same color over here and let's add some shadow on this one. And for the shadow, I'm going to use zero, two, and four. We don't want it to be a very big shadow, very subtle shadow we want actually over here. And it is going to be 10%, very subtle shadow. Very subtle, very light shadow over here, okay? Okay, so uh, this portion is complete. Let's uh, create another artboard because we are going to uh, animate it or prototype it. So let's duplicate it. I'm pressing my Alt key and dragging it over here to replicate it. Let's move it over here. Okay, so 
over here okay so I have pressed my shift to move it over here now we just need to change the fill color okay so the fill color for this one is going to be 1 C a very bright blue color which is going to be over here this is going to be the most brightest color at the top corner over here and this is going to be uh, the dark dull color over here this is white this is going to be light colors okay so I am going to create uh, another course on this one which is going to be color scheming okay so here we have it let's change the border so we need a border uh, which is going to be darker shade of this blue okay so maybe somewhere over here something like that okay so let's see what is the value I used I used 188 5 cc okay so this is a bit sharper blue dark a bit dark color over here okay so now you can see our uh, both of these conditions or both of these states are complete now we are going to go to our prototype over here and select this and um, what is happening over here let's group them command G also group them command G okay so now we are going to back to over here and now we can easily drag it over here like that okay so just create um, a link to another screen and uh, the transition we are going to use will be dissolve and you can use ease in right now and the main thing about it over here is let me zoom out let me show you the duration we are going to keep it to very uh, minimal okay so it is going to be 0.1 seconds okay so this is basically the trick transition is going to be dissolve ease in and 0.1 okay similarly what we are going to do is we are going to link it back dissolve ease out 0.1 okay so let's play it and see how it it is going to work okay so looking great also you can try different other options like uh, rather than ease in out you can use ease in out over here and also for here ease in out and see if the effect changes or improves a bit so this this looks a bit uh, different from before because it is moving very fast over here on this side so I am going to use ease in over here and also ease in over here okay so see if this is going to make it a bit better yeah okay so uh, the trick is that you are going to use ease in for both the conditions and um, the animation the easing is going to be ease in duration will be 0.1 and transition will be dissolve okay so this is going to create the perfect this uh, slider and uh, just you can see over here this is looking great so uh, this is all about this today's tutorial and uh, a little about me I am Asan I am a UI UX designer and I teach on Udemy and Skillshare if you want to see my courses uh, you can see the links below and uh, if you want to ask me any question you can ask me in the discussion or comments below you can like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope to see you soon in the next video.